All right, let's take a look. If we wanted a little bit more of a complex picture or maybe some of the errors and things that go wrong, let's, let's talk about some of those there. So let's go back to my two-dimensional view. I'm gonna just delete this all just to get it out of our way. We're done with that. All right, so let's get a picture here. I'm gonna go to my Google Images, and if I don't want just like a simple logo, like let's look at, all right. So let's say I want a picture like this. Now, this is where a lot of kind of trial and error is gonna come in. So I'm gonna click on that, right click and copy, come over here, right click and paste. So some of the issues we're gonna have here is you and I, with our brains and our eyeballs, have figured out over the years that I can look at this picture and know, hey, that's a person standing right there, that's a hockey stick in his hand, that's a crowd behind him. Again, the computer doesn't know that, though. All the computer knows is that where the pixels should be and what color the pixels should be. So if I tried to get this picture right here, if I tried to use my bird button, let's try it, let's see what's going to happen. So I'm going to hit my bird button, I think. Yeah. Hit my bird button. There we go. All right, so again, I can bring this all the way down. Not enough detail. I can bring it up. Too much detail. So this picture right here is not going to work very well. All right, I can try it. Let's just hit preview, apply, close. All right. Now, um, I can see kind of right away this isn't going to work too well. But let's just see what is going to happen. But this is also going to bring a good point because there's going to be an error, I believe, is going to pop up here. So I hit my V carve, select my vector, hit calculate. All right, and as it's thinking here, so what it's going to do is it's going to cut in between all the lines here. All right, so may contain overlaps, vector validator. If you get this screen, just hit continue anyway. If I get the next screen, there's going to be an error. It's going to say, hey, you're going to cut through your material. That is bad. So that's what we need to know about. So again, it's like my board is three quarters of an inch thick, or 0.75 inches right here. I get this error right here that says, warning, tool will cut through material. Remember, this machine is dumb. It will do exactly what you tell it to do. Yes, it can go down 0.75 inches. It can also keep going down as much as the computer will let it. We don't want that, because that's when the bit goes into it, into the machine itself, starts breaking. So if you get this error right here that says, warning, it's gonna cut through, this is something we need to fix. So I'm gonna just hit OK just so we can watch. All right, reset my preview, preview visible toolpath. So we see it's gonna go through. Let me speed it up here. And then we'll see it's gonna start actually cutting all the way through it. We don't want this because this is actually going to cut into the machine and we don't want that. You see the picture there looks okay. All right, but we can see we cut through the back. We don't want that. Two ways to solve this problem. Number one, get a different picture. Number two, all right, so this is where we have looking at our toolpath. And again, for a toolpath, you can just kind of double click on it to edit it. That's what this flat depth right here is. So start depth, always keep that at zero. But if I check this box to say flat depth, and let's make that 0 0.5, hit calculate. Now what that's gonna do is the machine is gonna start here at the top at zero. And then it's only gonna go down to 0.5 inches and then it'll try to make it all flat there. So it's not gonna cut all the way through. All right, so vector validator, hit continue. And I should not get that next error that says it's gonna cut all the way through. So that's one way to do it. The other one is get a new picture. Let me pause this while it's loading. All right, so reset my preview, preview it again, and we can see right here, it's gonna kind of flatten it out right here. Now that does solve one problem, but that creates a new problem because if I go to see how long this is gonna take, now that says it's going to take two hours and 47 minutes because what it has to do is each little thing right here it's going to take forever each one of these little lines it's using that point of that bit to create a flat thing so it'd be like if i just took a pencil and tried to fill in the whole area by using just the point it's just going to take forever don't do that
All right. So how can we find a better picture? Let's go back to our Google images right here. So remember, Google's got some built-in tools. So if I go to Tools right here, and if I go to Type, and if I go down to line drawing, what line drawing is going to do is give me like coloring book style pages right here. All right. So most of these pictures should work pretty well. Yeah, like let's just find this one right here. Oh, it doesn't like it. Can't look at that one in school. All right, let me find a different one. Uh, boop, boop. It's from a jigsaw puzzle. Oh, here, let me, let me use this one right here as an example. All right, right click, copy, Come back here, 2D view, delete this, control V to paste it. So here's another example of something that might happen. Let's say I have a picture, I love it, but I want to get rid of this where it says color slap shot or this like little thing down here. If you want to get rid of like a watermark at the bottom of your picture, here's how we can do it. So first you're gonna have to trace it using the bird button, and then you can go through and delete stuff you don't want. It's kind of tricky though, because you gotta deal with vectors and things. Um, let's delete everything. All right, so I'm gonna hit my bird button. All right, trace bitmap. All right, no bitmap selected. I need to click on my picture. All right, excellent. Now I'm gonna bring this up or down. Let's put it yeah, about right there. Preview, hit apply, close. Now, close if I make a V carve toolpath. I select my vector, I calculate it, I hit continue. This shouldn't cut through. Reset, preview. All right, so that looks pretty good right there. That would actually look really nice if you carved it out. All right, but now let's go through and let's say we don't want this. We don't want this stuff on top. I'm gonna go back to my two-dimensional view. All right. I'm going to delete my original picture just to make it a little bit clearer here. You don't have to. All right, so let's say I want to delete this right here. Now, if I click on it, everything is all grouped together. So like if I move this, it's going to move everything. So we need to ungroup. So I'm going to right click, ungroup. And you can click either one of these, doesn't matter. Ungroup back to the original layer, sure. Now you see everything is a dotted line. So now everything is kind of separate. So I can put a box around this delete that. Probably go back down here. We can delete that. All right. So now that all looks good, but let's put it all back together so we can, if we have to resize it or anything. So I'm going to highlight it all, right click, and group again. So now everything's one piece again. I can resize, do whatever I need to. So if I wanted to V carve, select my vector. I can turn off that flat depth, hit calculate, continue, and reset preview and preview, and that's what that would look like. All right. So that is kind of how you find a good picture. So if you use the line drawing in the tools on Google Images, you can find a lot better pictures than just trying to find a photograph. Photographs aren't going to work too well because that computer has to find the edges. And that's how you can do it. So you can do this for, you know, finding anything. Like if I want to find a puppy. Right? If I look for a puppy, like some of these won't work too well. Like this one, it's a lot of kind of beige-ish color, beige -ish color right here. But if I go to Tools, type, line drawing, all of these are going to work pretty well. All right.